Hi, this is Jenna, and I am going to show you some of my favorite frames for day four of Sketch 50 2.0, Back to the Basics. So again, I'm in Adobe Draw, um, my go-to app for quick sketches because of the fill tool. Um, I will add a new layer, and I have to start with my go-to frame. My go-to frame that I use all the time is just a rectangle and then another rectangle on the inside. And I'm going to fill this in before adding my extra line detail. So I tap and hold to fill it and now I can go in and do my details. I just do corner to corner and then I like to add a detail of an extra line here. If it's too skinny, you can always make the line a little bit skinnier on the inside. But I like the look of not having exactly perfect, perfectly straight lines. And then in here, this is where I would write my title for things. Okay. So that's my go-to frame. Another kind of fun one, along similar to the one I just drew, starts with a rectangle. And then I just, I put like almost two half circles so that I know where the corners are. And then I just follow it along with the squiggly line. Squiggly line to connect, squiggly line. And then you can put different squiggly lines and little swirls. And squiggly lines in here and then I can go through and I could tap and hold to fill it really quickly and if this one didn't get filled because it was closed there we go there's another really quick frame um, but honestly anything can be a frame so um, something like a balloon can be a frame right and then I like turning anything into a frame. Let's see, color it in first, and then we can write our words. Um, you know, party. Um, let's see. Of course, thought bubbles are good ones because a lot of times you want to add thoughts or reflections. Um, speech bubbles also work. Let's think of something else that could be a frame. Um, maybe I want to use a book as a frame. So I'll just do like my pages of a book. And then I'll save this for my wording. I'm not going to go super fancy, but here, let's see. If I do take a color for my book, again, Adobe Draw just lets me tap and hold and color things in really quickly. So really, anything can become a frame. So... I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.